pleased to be joined by the Sporting News Executive of the Year and a finalist for the NHL Awards in the GM category, Mike Gillis. Mike, uh, congrats on all of that. Let's get right to the uh, Ben Eager's hit on Daniel Sedin has to have you fuming, and I know you need to be a little bit careful about that, but what were your thoughts? Well, you know, I, uh, I've i been fine once already. I, I, I think, uh, you know, you just view that hit and... Um, you know, I think those hits can be absolutely devastating. They can really injure players, and um, it's unfortunate. Dr. Marcel uh, Dvorak is the guy that took care of Daniel and then took care of uh, Edler. So in all the awards that are being handed out for your Canucks this year, tell us about this uh, Dvorak at UBC. Well, he's done a, a marvelous job with all our players. And um, when Alex Edler got injured initially, we... Uh, you know, there was an opportunity for him to play a little bit longer, but it was going to happen, and we went right in, and he did a, an absolutely incredible job. Alex uh, has been has been completely healthy from the beginning of the playoffs, and it's just remarkable what they can do. That hit on Taves, first game of the playoffs, like he did to Doughty a year ago, special before, well, the whole defense. Like you're, you're a super agent. You'd be in a tough spot here with a couple of the guys you got assigned, and BX is just on fire because of the guy you picked up. Yeah, well, Dan Hamus has been absolutely great for us, and he and Kevin trust each other so much. That's why Kevin can jump into the play like he did on that goal, and um, we're very fortunate to have them, and uh, we're very hopeful we can keep them all. Your life in hockey, Mike, has been a one nonstop conversation. You played. A lot of your players uh, gave you an earful of ideas. Jeff Court, let's start with Courtnell. And he said to the Aquilinis, because he was a buddy of theirs, they said, no, wait, what do we do? He said, well, you should hire Mike. And so you have a three-hour meeting. What was the tenor of the meeting? How did What did they ask, and what did you say to get the job that day? I just uh, told them what I thought it was, uh, you know, Diane and I had moved out here because of our daughter Kate and um, she played on the plays on the national field hockey team. And one day I got a call and I thought it was about Marcus Naslin. It was uh, after the season had ended and they asked me about the sport and about uh, what I thought of the team and I told them and um, which was well just my philosophy about how the NHL was trending and where it was going and what you had to do to build a winner and um, they listened to that and obviously they uh, they thought it was the right thing and they asked me if I would consider the job which I did and you know the timing was good for me I was um, I've been an agent for a long time and uh, I felt this was a great opportunity to come in and really do what I wanted to do and they've given me every opportunity to do it a little more on that it was trending in a certain way was it I know you touched on speed of the defenseman was that the number yeah. one thing you well it, uh, we tried to build our defense from day one and you have to take what you're given, you know, you have to be patient to do it. We put a ton of money into drafting and development, and uh, we've got five or six really good young defensemen that aren't here right now. So it's a complete focus of ours. We wanted offense from our defense. I told Mike Milbury uh, we wanted 200 points from our defense. And he said, are you kidding me? And uh, he does what he does with you. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we, uh, we really like mobile defensemen who can move the puck quickly. You know, the... Uh fact of the matter is that uh, Lam Vigneault, if I'd have said to you when it was all a whirlwind as you took the job, I'll bet you you weren't convinced the Lam would be your coach because the team had missed the playoffs, so not with a horrible record. But you, you guys seem to be kindred spirits. When they had a bad run two years ago here, you stood by this guy. What is it with Alain Vigneault and you? Uh, he's a really bright guy who is open to the changes that we wanted. Um, he's a great coach. I really like him as a person, and we get along really well. And philosophically, we're on the same page, so I couldn't ask for more. Well, it's a hell of a run. Uh, good luck the rest of the way, and good luck to Daniel Sadiq. Thank you very much. That yeah, was a tough hit.